what prompted you to get into this line of business? At the moment, I'm, uh, I am running the company called Upande Limited, uh, and we specialize in, in mapping solutions. So uh, we deal on the one hand with uh, geographical information systems, but uh, increasingly also with web mapping. So it's online uh, web applications, which could be built around Google Earth, for example, or Google Maps, but then applications that are built on top of these environments. Uh, they deal with water and sanitation data, for example, but also um, ge general geography. We're doing a lot of work at the moment with all kinds of maps um, for uh, for curriculum development, uh, primary, secondary schools, but also universities, and basically creating online tools for people to discuss maps and see how map-based data uh, ideally should you know, be the basis for, for sound decision making. What is your hiring policy? Um, since we do a lot of online work, um, the, um, we basically look for people who, are, who have already you know, uh, had exposure to online community. So on the one hand, we, we look for um, programmers who come from uh, computing science, but also uh, on the other hand, people from uh, GIS, from a surveying type of background, um, and particularly the crossover between the two. Um, and looking for people who have already you know, engaged with things online, who are blogging already online, um, who are, uh, have, have a LinkedIn profile, who, can, who you can see that they are connected. Um, so people who who you can't really you know, see some of their online results uh, are generally not you know, very suitable for the type of work and the type of projects that we're doing. So that's, that's one, uh, one criteria. Uh, of course, you have to go through um, elaborate um, interview process and, and checking with references uh, to make sure that everything is, uh, is in line. Uh, and then, of course, you start with a, with a, a contract and, uh, and then hope, hope that you know, it can be extended, of course. So we're starting with, with short-term contracts since we are still a small startup and very much dependent on project funding. Uh, no external funding that we've been uh, sourcing so far. High points and low points of your venture. I think receiving a big grant from a US-based think tank was very encouraging, a context that's been developing over the years and building an online platform that is going to be launched sometime next month where all kinds of spatial information, online maps and discussions around it will be launched. So I think that will be the high moment. Working for Google in Kenya was also very special and look back on a very good time there. But being able to grow your own business and, and, and create opportunities also for other people to find employment, I think has been more rewarding and the, the most rewarding thus far. Yeah, of course, with uh, hiring people, you get a lot of uh, extra managerial tasks, um, a lot of administration type of work. Uh, if you're too small, you, you, you might not have a full-time uh, job for an administrator. So you have to juggle, uh, do many tasks uh, at once and make sure that you're also not late with uh, VAT payments and then paying your NSSF and NHAF and things like that. So you have to go through that whole process. Uh, so at first that is quite daunting and, and a lot of work. Um, but um, I've outsourced uh, some of that work. Um, make sure that you uh, bring on a good lawyer and a good accountant so that you don't make any uh, mistakes early on. That I think has, uh, has meant that we've been able to survive very well uh, despite some of those uh, hurdles that you have to take. How do you balance work and personal life? Um, that's a very good question and that's quite a challenge indeed. Um, we're working of course at the moment uh, from the house uh, looking for office space so that's quite strenuous of course on family life as well um, and um, life in Nairobi is also not very cheap. Um, traffic also takes time and of course you also want to find time to relax, uh, spend quality time with the family um, and also be engaged in, in society outside of work itself. So luckily we do have some projects that have a strong um, social component as well. So at the moment we're also building a tool, for example, that will track um, uh, girls' uh, school attendance um, and performance in relation also to sanitary pad distribution. So it's a project that we, uh, we're doing together with uh, ZANA Africa. Um, and those are very rewarding projects to be part of because um, if they go very well and we can prove the use of them, um, you know, it will really also release more funding uh, to scale up such initiatives and, and ultimately um, make sure that also more girls will be able to stay in school and, and, and go all the way down to university. So 
Um, so some of the projects in itself also have you know, very rewarding components to it and uh, we've been very lucky to be able to do some, some very exciting projects. What is your market focus? Um, since we're in the online world, uh, things are, are changing every day. So uh, we really do our best to, to stay up to speed. Um, uh, books uh, are outdated by the time they go to the print. Uh, so we really use a lot of online sources, so our internet usage is very big. Um, and basically, uh, one of the things that we do is, since we can't stay on top of all things, um, one of the things that we try to do in the company is to have uh, people specialize in certain areas. So some are specializing in, in mobile, for example, uh, data capture. We're doing some water and sanitation projects with, with mobile phones. Um, and, and the people who have time to, to look into some of these things can then also share their knowledge internally. Uh, so that we all know um, where some of this experience and expertise lies within the company without necessarily having to all know it. Uh, at the same time, of course, we want to make sure that uh, knowledge doesn't lie with one person, uh, so that uh, if something were to happen or that person were to move on, we're also not uh, uh, in, a, in a problem situation. So through cross-fertilization and staying up to speed through the, through the web, that's how we try to stay on top of things. Um, but sometimes internet can also be an issue and that can also therefore directly affect our productivity.